For the external wall insulation, we chose cork uh, for several reasons. One, it's a natural material, and two, we were keen to support the cork industry that's suffering through the um, loss of cork in going into wine bottles. Um, it also has a very low embodied energy and was appropriate for using both externally and internally, which is in fact what we've done. On the side of the house, as uh, so this is a semi-detached house, we've insulated with 180 millimetres of cork in two layers, one layer of 150 millimetres and another layer of 30 millimetres. Um, and then internally we've used 120 millimetres of cork, which was then uh, covered in mesh and then plaster skimmed. Whereas on the external wall insulation, we've left the cork in its natural state and not rendered it. And the reasons for this were twofold. One, there was a cost saving by not rendering it, but also the colour of the cork as it is, is more similar to the existing colour of the brickwork and is less obtrusive. Um, if it had been rendered, it would have looked quite stark and much more noticeable. We have, however, added timber battens onto the external cork, uh, and this is to provide a growing framework for plants um, that are slowly creeping their way across the cork. Using cork on the external wall uh, without render was a bit of an experiment uh, because um, it hasn't been done before. There are other materials that we could have considered using for the external wall. Um, majority of them are, however, petrochemical based and one of the key features that drew us to court was in fact that it was a natural material and it's performing very well.